What's up guys, it is JTB here and welcome to another episode of the Cambridge United Road to Glory 3.0. In the last episode, things did not go particularly well. I'm just going to leave it at that, but let's just say that this episode, if we do not get promotion to the championship, I might have to call it quits. And announce that I am one of the worst FIFA career mode managers of all time. So I'm starting off by sending Iker Redondo out on a one-year loan move to Aldo Vizzi. Jack Lancaster will be going on a two-year loan move to Italian side Sampdoria. Dragusha has been sold to Lechia Nadsik over in... That's Poland, right? Yeah, Poland. And joining the team from the free agents list is Dragan Milosevic. Serbian defensive midfielder, $10,000 wage. Should be a good player for us. Dave Forbes has been sold to Fleetwood Town for 420000 Adam Hilton will be going on a one-year loan move to Clermont Foot over in France. And right before the season started, we did get some bad news as our starting striker Gustavo tore his quad and he's going to be out for the next three months. I mean, we're already starting the season with pressure on us to get promotion and when that happens, things are just not looking good for us. Mateo Meza has been sold to Al Nasir over in Saudi Arabia for $2 million. Jesse Neal will be going on a two-year loan move to Feyenoord over in Netherlands. Should be a really good chance for him. Harry Ingram has been sold to Darmstadt over in Germany for $2.3K or million. Lewis Simpson will be going on a two-year loan move over to my home country of the United States of America to join LAFC. Should be really good for him. So transfer window was... Pretty boring for us as far as acquisitions go. Didn't buy a single player, only brought in Milosevic, Milosevic on a free contract. Everybody else got sold. So our five-star, five-star scout is going to be heading to England for nine months. Our four-star, five-star to Argentina. And a four-star, five-star to Brazil. Shao Kreshnik has been sold to CD Lugo over in Spain for 690k. Ezra Sharp will be going on a short loan move to CD Tondela for the rest of the year once the transfer window opens. Spagia has been sold to AFC Wimbledon for 940k. And here we are in the FA Cup second round. We're hosting MK Dons at the Abbey Stadium. And this is how the team is lining up. Playing a 3-5-1-1. Very different formation. I've used it before. And I've never been a big fan of it, but it seems to get the job done. So Vera is in goal. Okadina Cuesta and Azevedo are the center backs. Duncan and Milosevic are the defensive mids. Blanco is the center mid. Sinani center forward. Ahmedi Shoku on the wings. And Gustavo is up top. Here are the highlights. Who can he pick out? And couldn't get it past that first defender. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Really, we've all been speculating. Would he play from the... Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic... And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Chances on. Opportunity to deliver the cross. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. And this to reduce the deficit. And he finds the net. to get tighter can he finish it's good here as he runs at them and credit is due for that good piece of defending can he take the chance and pushed onto the woodwork and in well it looks so threatening but the danger averted
A move of promise on the flank. And a goal here! So a 4-2 victory for us will send us into the next round thanks to obviously that goal from Shoku Sanani and those two from Gustavo. Riley Elliott will be joining Newport County as he's been sold for 370k. And halfway through the journey, through the season, we are comfortably in first place. Five point head, five points ahead of second place Blackpool. We're in a pretty good position, obviously, to keep the squad going, and we should be in the championship. Alfonso Castro is joining the team from the Youth Academy. Brazilian center midfielder, 79 to 94 potential. He's an excellent passer of the ball. So, he should fit in that center mid spot to replace Blanco someday in the future. Ivan Orozco is joining the team, 62 overall, not the highest of potentials, but he's a really good all-around player, so might need that in the future. Lewis Clark is joining the team, only 5'5", five five, which is very concerning, however, he probably won't even play, so it does make a difference. Sergio Martinez is joining to, starting off as a right back, you have a development plan on him to make him a defensive midfielder. 67 overall, 80 to 94 potential. Rafael Pinto is joining the team at that center forward position. Very, very quick on the ball. And with development plans, it's just going to get even faster. Diego De Silva is joining again at that center forward position. And here's something I was not expecting. Uh, we are traveling to the Etihad Stadium in the third round of the FA Cup. I don't know how, why we have to be so unfortunate to get drawn against Manchester City. But in real life, we did... Cambridge United beat Newcastle United. Obviously, Manchester City is a lot different than Newcastle, but it's not unrealistic. And the lineup is untouched. Here are the highlights. What do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Three goals in the last three games. He looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. a perfect challenge fruitful looking attack real chance frantic the attack continues they're making considerable progress and a goal here but he's gone short with it Gabriel Jesus. This could square the game. Run it well. Still pushing for a winner. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Can they forge ahead? Oh! So a 3 2 loss does mean that we are out of the FA Cup, but we did hold our own against Manchester City, which is quite the accomplishment. Diego Da Silva will be going on a short loan move to, I believe, Argentinian side Lanús. Afonso Castro is going on a short loan move to Cruz Azul in Mexico. Rafael Pinto is going on a short loan move to Swiss side Young Boys. Sergio Martinez is going on a short loan move to Mexican side CF Monterrey. So yeah, pretty boring chance window. Didn't bring any players in, didn't sell any players. So yeah, this is uh, quite interesting. We, our job is under scrutiny. We have met all of our objectives. We don't have any unhappy players at the club. We're first in the league. I have no clue why. Like I spent five minutes searching. I mean, we have two players that, you know, aren't happy with their playing time contract, but they're being, but I'm, they're transfer listed and their contract's expiring, so I'm trying to get rid of them. I just don't understand why our rating is this low. Found out this is actually why Dosu has requested a transfer because I didn't agree up his contract and he has been playing because, well, there's Vera and Vera's better than Dosu. So he is leaving the club. I'm releasing him, not dealing with his toxic garbage. And we got some even more bad news as Eduardo Azevedo 
broke his tibia, he's out for six months. Things are just going great. Here we are hosting Charlton Athletic in the league. Lineup is, you know, just about the same as it always is, except a brow starts at the other center back position. Here are the highlights. Today. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And dispossessed. On the event. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, it's in. And Perhaps Suarez. Crossing possibilities. And Morgan. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Oh, a goal it is! Dangerous looking attack. And the cross smuggled away. Tremendous ball played through. He's in behind the defence here. A move of promise on the flank. Cross could be useful. Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. And the ball is loose. And there it is. Taking care of business defensively here. Can he finish? Determined defending. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And just look at that score. It's a weighted pass. He's gone and... He's managed to lose his marker. Blanco on the ball. Can he finish this? And beg him to be put away. So a 6-2 victory thanks to a hat-trick from Sinani and Gustavo. Means that we win the game 6-2. And it turns out we also clinched the league title. Um, I wasn't 100% sure because I think it was still pending results elsewhere. I think we, we needed to win and I, oh, I forget. Whoever was in second place at the time also had to lose. And evidently that happened, and we are now going up into the Premier League. Carlos Andrade is joining the team from the Youth Academy. 70 overall, 86-94 potential Brazilian center mid. Expect him to be a key player for us, or go out on loan and be a key player for us in coming years. Declan Gibbons is another one of those players that probably just can go out on loan and come back and be good. Louis Clark should be a good backup goalkeeper for us. Hugo Pereira should be a good player in I'd say three or four years. So here we are, another league game, we're hosting Oxford United. Playing the same lineup, we're just going for goals at this point. Here are the highlights. Well we can say it officially now, we'll be watching the champions today. Oh Derek, can he finish this? Trying to deliver it accurately. Just the clearance that was called for. And now, passing it through. He just needs to remain icy cool. And it's there for him. And a goal to increase the... ...aware of the situation. He needs to be onside there. And Blanco... And he's in. And it goes! Pablo Perez. Couldn't hang on to it. 
He's in with a chance. And up for grabs off the keeper. Pulls it back. A goal! Well, it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And it's with Smith. Chance here. And denied by the first. What? Really getting stuck in defensively. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Another goal! Possession lost, intercepted. Well, visionary passing. A matter of keeping his composure. Oh, there it is! So a 6-1 victory is obviously solidified proof. We are the best team in this division. And like I said, we're just out here scoring goals, having some fun. Declan Gibbons will be going on a one year long move to Italian side Spezia once the next season. Luca Morris is joining the team from the Youth Academy, English center forward, 86 to 94 potential. Sent him out on a couple of loan spells, he should be an extremely good player for us. Chao Ferreira is the same. Arthur Fowler, however, is going to have a tough time, but defensive mid is an easy position to train, in my opinion. Edison Correa is joining the team from the Youth Academy as well. Right back, converting to defensive mid. No clue how that transition is going to go. Kerman Leons is another player going from a outside back to defensive mid. Always tough. Hugo Pereira will be going on a one-year loan move to Clermont Foot for the entirety of next year. Carlos Andrade will be going to Granada for next year. Chao Ferreira will be going to Vissel Kobe for next year. And at the end of the season, we ended up finishing in first, I mean, 12 points clear of Charlton. We are easily the best team in the league. Sinani was the top goal scorer with 24, and Shulku tied for third with 18. Ahmedi led the, team, led the league in assists with 14, just behind him was tied for second in Sinani. Milicevic led the team, well, led the league in yellow cards. I guess that kind of counts as an accomplishment. And in League 1... There were six players who got red cards, and three of them were ours. I hold that as a sign of pride. I really don't care. That was... Hey, we, do we got half of the awards. So, we'll take it. In the FA Cup, got knocked out in the third round by Man City. Carabao Cup got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Chelsea. Papa John's Trophy got knocked out in the semifinals by Charlton. Sinani led the team in goal scored with 33, behind him was Shulku with 21, and then Ahmedi Gustavo both had 19. Sinani also led the team in assists with 17, Ahmedi had 16, Shulku had 12. And Beckett headlines the players that are leaving the club, really because he's the only real one, because the rest of them honestly are just not important. So yeah, managerial resume now, we have lost more games than we have drawn, which is quite disappointing, but other than that, I mean, we won a league finally, but... Still yet to really push ourselves over the next hurdle, and with this team, we definitely should be. I mean, Sanani is an absolute freak. I mean, 83 overall in League 1 is disgraceful, so in the championship, should thrive. Same with Ahmedi and Shoku and Gustavo. I mean, I truly think we could go back-to-back -back promotions with this team, but we'll just have to see how things go. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Tomorrow, obviously, will be our first season up in the championship. It's taken, honestly, too long for us to get there, but finally, it will actually mean something to us. Maybe some good cup runs in the future, maybe. Who knows? I just hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you're new, and if you want to check out more of this stuff, feel free to do so. And it is JTB signing off.